What's going on guys, it is Wild Strike and DSG here and I'm back to another Blackburn Rovers career mode. Guys, make sure you hit that like button, do not forget to subscribe. We are flying through these now. Uh, at the moment, Season 4 is fully underway. We are going to be doing a training session for you guys today, but then obviously next episode, we got quite a lot going down. At least five games or something like that. We're flying through it. But guys, make sure you subscribe and do not forget to hit that like whoa wait a minute as we discussed at the beginning of the season growing the club financially was an important goal for the club at the moment it looks like we may not hit our target please revisit the specific objectives we set out to accomplish at the what stay and oh play a salary under 10 percent okay basically we've gone up by plus nine percent uh since so we're gonna have to sell one or two players that's what will be happening literally it's just finances that's literally it it is just finances. That's all it is. That's ridiculous. That's all it is right now. We got one youth player who is eligible for the five matches. We're going to try and sort, sort that out. Um, we try and do that this season as well. But one of the big ones, Venkis, are after saying that they want um, the ways budget to be cut again. Just like in real life. But anyway, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to sort out a training session for us, guys. We're going to see what we can do. Um, and let's just jump on into it. I'm going to show you who we're going to be training today. Okay, so in recent episodes, you may have noticed that we was training Declan John. And today, I want to do the exact same thing again. I want to get him pushing up to 80 rated. Don't particularly want to be buying another left back. So if we can get a very, very strong left back out of Declan John by getting up to 80 rated, that'll be brilliant. And then, of course, we've got Rashford as well on the chance creation. Reason uh, Declan John's actually in a training session day is because you guys actually suggested saying that why don't you actually put him in a training session? Try and boost him up quite a bit, and you should do pretty well with him. Um, the, so give it a go and see what you can do. Um, but we're going to have to try and uh, prevent anything from going in at the moment. Um, good defending well and Declan John. Okay, it was a little bit of a mishap for the first one. Oh, it was some second one as well. Not too good. Kind of lucky that we don't really lose points. We've conceded um, in this particular training session. Oh, man. 2v1 defending is pretty hard. I don't know where we're going to get an A on it. Jesus. Oh, my God. 15 seconds to try and sort it all out. Nice. Nice. Can we pull it off? Can we pull it off? Good defending here from Declan John. Can we get one more? Oh, I don't think we can. Yes, we can. There it is. Is that a C? It is a C. What can he do? It, oh, it's the final play. He got a C. It was a very, very poor start at the beginning of it. And then all of a sudden, we pulled it back. One thing with Declan John, right, for a lot of you, his shooting is absolutely incredible. Honestly, this guy, you put him on the target, uh, left and it's left-footed, and the guy will just obliterate uh, anyone. The ball will go into the back of the net, guaranteed. The amount of times I've actually just taken, oh, you know what, I'll see what I can do type shot, and it goes in, it's absolutely unbelievable. We cannot get past Sumido. Honestly, why have we got such a difficult defender to train against today? We are Declan John. We're not exactly the most amazing dribbler, uh, to say the least. Oh, we've got pass in there, and there it is. <laughs> By the looks, we're doing pretty average right now. We're not doing too brilliant. Oh, see, he keeps just getting the ball off us constantly. See, we have got an F. This is really hard. That was really hard. We got a D. We did get a D, but that was so, so difficult. I'll pass it. Our vision's not that good, which is a bit of a shock, if I'm truly honest with Declan John, because he has done well, it, like, passing. I think his vision is actually quite decent, but this is going to be difficult now. Uh, Samido is in the middle. Oh. Nice. Oh my god, we lost it. Damn it. That's not this is not a good start. God almighty. Wow, we'd usually do so much better, and we've even done better with youth players. Uh, maybe we have to go back to training Columbo. I really want to get Columbo up to 80 rated. We're gonna retry that drill. Uh, we only get you only get three attempts. There we go. Nice. Oh damn it. Just pass where you're facing. Pass where you're facing. Nice. 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 I know I'm going to pass it down, John. I'm not. There we go. That'll do. 
Just pass where you're facing. We oh damn it, Rashford. Oh come on, come on, damn it. We're gonna lose again. This is one of the hardest training sessions I've actually ever done. Wow, that's one of the hardest. This is one of the hardest training sessions I've done. I don't understand because we got two good players. Just pass where you're facing. Just pass where you're facing. It's easy enough. That's all we gotta do. That's literally all. Oh damn it. I'll do it. Nice. 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 There we go. Panic over. Panic over. There we go. We got some... Oh, damn it, uh, Declan John. <laughs> Declan John's literally the only one that loses the ball. He is. Nice. Nice. We've got to see. We've got to see. Nice. I'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. That'll do it. Nice. Good bit of passive football. we got a bit of a B going on. Oh, Beautiful. It's an A. We finally got it. We finally got the A on El Rondo. Oh, that was unbelievable. That was so, so difficult. Honestly, guys. Let me know as well your favorite training uh, drill in the comments. So anyway, sharp shooting now. This is one of my favorites. It is with his left foot, so it's going to be difficult from this side. See what we can do. See, go and have a shot on him. Oh, what, what, look at that. <laughs> Straight in the back of net. That's his element. That one there. Lining him up in that position is literally just pure uh, John Gold. Oh, pick that out. Honestly, this guy, if he wants, he can can't score all the time, but he can at least challenge the goalkeeper a lot more than some strikers. Honestly, he can easily, easily. Let's just. Oh, what was that? That was pure filth. Oh, he's hit it wide. Here we go. Left foot. Oh, it's over the bar. I think we're only going to get C on this one, guys. I honestly do. Oh, shame. Nice little save from the goalkeeper. We got a C. We're going to give that one a go again. Honestly, we're not, we're not in a rush whatsoever at all. Catelyn John. Oh, beautiful. Ping. Oh, Sky Day hit it too hard. Usually, it's, it's the ones across the face of goal... Which just tend to go in for Declan John when he shoot when he drills it. Um, nice. And again. Nice. And again. Why use your right foot, Declan John? You knew you was lined up for your left. And you use your right. Why do you do it? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to your family, Declan John? It's nice to have a Welshman in the team, of course, as well. Um, even though we have been looking to sign uh, improvement on the uh, right back, centre back, well, the whole defence, really. Um, with the si signing of Sumido, he recently came in this a B there. <laughs> that was pretty good. We did have the signing of Sumido. We are kind of keeping it internet like uh, regional based, so Welsh, English players, and of course, we got a few foreigners uh, with uh, Batioko, who is. Um, a uh, French, and then we got uh, Moe's German, and we got Samido. I can't, I think he's from Ghana. I could be completely wrong, but he's a very, very good player. Um, and that's what what we've been doing recently. We've been kind of um, getting a lot of English players, a lot of homebred players. Only Courtois, well, Courtois as well, um, <laughs> as uh, he's from, of course, Belgium. Um, so I've been, like, I've been trying to keep it regional. I want to be bringing back uh, Rashford in January. That's my aim. That she'll be happy enough just to bring him in. Um, but recently, uh, I've been wondering whether to uh, sell Tammy Abraham or not. A few of you who said you don't play him, so you might want well to sell him. And then we start playing him more often, more on a regular. And literally, the guy's banging in goals. <laughs> Honestly, he scored more goals than Rashford this season. The thing is, all. Oh, we could actually um, sell Rashford for quite a lot of profit. We could sell Sturridge for quite a lot of profit. Here's the devil now. Here's Tammy Abraham. Look at that. Look at that agility on the ball. <laughs> Honestly, he has done amazing. I don't think you want to sell anyone just yet. I really don't. Oh, lovely play. <laughs> Daniel Sturridge. They're coming in. He's got some incredible pace. I don't think you want to sell him either. Oh, very unlucky there. Nice. Sturridge, blocked. It is a C. We are on course for an A. See if we can get that cross. Oh! Daniel Sturridge is very good with um, those types of... Uh, when the ball gets squared across, honestly. The guy's incredible. 
Uh, let's try that on his left foot. Absolute wow full. Lovely football. Oh, no. It wasn't a lovely football. Drill that cross. Coming in. Oh, do you see what I mean? Do you see what I mean with Daniel Surridge? Honestly, the guy's incredible for those type of when a ball goes through. Nice. Good play. I really, I won't be selling Daniel Surridge at all. Um, possibly we will end up selling um, Tommy Abraham. But I really want to try and get 30 million for Tommy Abraham, to be honest. I really do. Um, so that's kind of my aim at the end of the day. I do want to try and get um, a lot of money for Tommy Abraham. But then he's scoring at the moment, so do I really want to sell him? But we did have a bit of an improvement for Declan John. And Rashford did go up a little bit as well. So, um, it was not a bad training session. But what training session? What I want to do now, I'm going to have a look. We're going to score report and everything like that now. Um... But as you can see, we can only top uh, after winning two games, drawing one, I think, if I'm right, against AZ, uh, who was actually who we drew against. But uh, we, bit, we are unbeaten in the Champions Cup. The main aim this season is to win the Champions Cup. Obviously, we want to win everything, but that is kind of the main aim. We are playing Burnley in the EFL quarterfinal, which is going to be a nice little special for you guys. Um... Which is going to be brilliant. But this is the lead table at the moment. Arsenal uh, probably will go top if they win the next game. They do have that game in hand. Uh, which is pretty uh, bad for us, to be honest. It's pretty close on the wins and uh, losses uh, scenario there. Um, but hopefully we can uh, improve. And uh, when we do play Arsenal. When we play Burnley, when we do play Arsenal. We play Arsenal very soon, I think. We don't. We don't play Arsenal until next season. Wow, it's Arsenal, we don't play them until like, near enough to the end of the season, so that's going to be interesting there. But anyway, we are playing Burnley in December, so next, ep not next episode, but the episode after, we will be on a Burnley special. So guys, make sure you tune in for that. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. But anyway, right, let's have a, do a quick squad report. Let's see what we can actually do. Um, Courtois. He's uh, gone up by plus one. He's now 93 rated. His value has gone down, apparently. Author, he's gone up by plus one. Hopefully, he can be 80 rated by the end of the season. Samido's now 84 rated. He's valued above what we bought in, which is pretty good. We've done some pretty good business so far um, there. Lasalas, he's recently come in to replace Oxford, who's been... Uh, he was banned for a game or two, but he's more of a replacement defender at the moment. Um, Declan John, he's playing every single game constantly. <laughs> he's done very well for us. Every Champions Cup game, every EFL Cup game, every Community Shield, every Premier League game, he has been a part of. Gary Gardner, he is a reserve player at the moment. He's doing pretty well. Andrew Townsend, he's doing very good for us and really love him as a right mid. Balassi, what a signing he is. He's gone up in value by £1 million. He's got himself in a goal and assist, but he's very good on the ball. An average of a 7.2 rating. Honestly, the guy's brilliant. Uh, Matteo Colombo, uh, we're going to have to put him on the... Hopefully, we'll loan him out next season. But I would like to keep training him. I want to try and get him up to 80 rated this season. That would be brilliant if we can. He scored two goals for us in the Premier League and got two assists. And a clean sheet and two clean sheets in the Champions Cup. So, he's doing very well. Tommy Abraham is coming into his own. Every other game, he is scoring and he's got himself an assist. So... I'm thinking we're going to start keep playing him for now and just see what we can do. Sim 1 is doing pretty well as well. Two goals. EFL Cup. Scored two goals. A couple of assists as well. Brilliant form from him. Daniel Sturridge. He's all right at the moment. He's only scored one goal in every single competition. He's not excelling in everything. But we did get him for free. Rashford feels insecure. He has played 10 games. He has played 16 games this season. So I don't know why he's feeling insecure. I'm not too sure. We're going to have to find out. Even if we did sell, we double the profit on him. Uh, Moore, he's doing all right. He hasn't played the same amount of games. He's only played around six. He hasn't played them all. Only really one assist. But he's one of those players which is just there and he completely dominates. Um, and like, gets the ball into the middle. Two million, he's gone up by. Oxford's finally growing. <laughs> finally, he's gone up a rating. That's been taking a while. He's got nine clean sheets this season. Played in enough all the games over the last three. But Ayoko, oh, he's doing pretty well. He's now 80 rated. Nice. He's now 80 rated. Bartley's 88 rated. He's gone up by plus one. His value's gone from 88 million to like 55. But we would sell him for like 88 million if we did. Brewer, we've got a lot of uh, youth. This guy's one of our main youth players. I really need to loan him out again. He has played a couple of games. He scored in the Champions Cup. Scored the winner, actually, in the Champions Cup. Harvey Bell, we want to loan out as well because he's a very good player. And then we've got a few more players that we want to be loaning out this season as well. So we're hoping that we can do that. 
And we can't because we've got very good players. We've got some very good players. Contract expiring. Um, I can't actually offer you a new contract. That's annoying. Lola is what I want to get rid of. And then, of course, we've got all these players out on loan right now. Um, Mahoney, he's doing pretty well at the moment on loan. McCartan, I do not know. I wish I could find out how well he's doing. But anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. I hope you all did enjoy it. We do have a full episode next tomorrow. And then we got the Burnley special. That's going to be out now. I want to say thanks for watching, guys. My name is Welsh. And I will see you next time. Woo! Do it for the love, for the love, yes I do So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B Sample with a dope ass beat And get the 